Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to decrease the opacity of an element. Um, this is part of the applied visual design. The opacity property in CSS is used to adjust the opacity or conversely, or conversely the transpar transparency of an item. So opacity versus transparency. Transparency. They're the same thing. Um, here they have this thing. A value of 1 is opaque, which isn't transparent at all. So 1 is 100%, meaning it's as transparent as my hand. Uh, a value of 0.5 is half see-through. Uh, I don't have a way to describe that, but this glass bottle would give you an idea. This might have an opacity of 0.5. And then 0 is invisible. The value given will apply to an entire element, whether that's an image with some transparency or the foreground and the uh, background colors for a block of text. Set the opacity of the anchor tag to 0.7 using links class to select them. Okay, so if we look in here, we see the class. We look for the period, right? Because uh, class and period are the same. Um, so basically what they're trying to do is have us set the opacity of the links. Um, what does links mean in here? These are the links. Sergi and Larry are both part of A, which is part of the links. <clears throat> So if we, right now they're set to text align left and the color of black. Let's see, uh, if we made it red, we would, it would show up. This is what we're trying to adjust right here. And so we're going to turn this back to black. And then um, we're going to adjust the opacity. The opacity. And then we're going to do colon. And then we're going to do 0 0.7. And then a semicolon. And then that makes it so that they're slightly invisible. You see how they've become like a little bit gray? Watch these guys right here. Black, and then if I put the opacity back on, they become gray. And that's what this one's looking for. If we run the tests, oh, they pass. That's excellent. Um, I hope this was useful for you guys. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you thought this was good. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.